With royal assent, Canada now has a gender-neutral anthem. The Canadian National Anthem is not uh, something that hasn't been changed in the past, and this last change really, all it does is brings it back to where it was in 1908 in its original version. Nothing blasphemous, nothing outlandish. It's just basically including all Canadians instead of just the sons. So I think, uh, well, you know, it's uh, change is not always easy to take, but uh, I think it's a change in the right direction. The first step towards this change came in January 2016 when Liberal MP Morel Boulanger first introduced the Private Members Bill. Boulanger passed away later that year after a battle with ALS. Morel Boulanger, who uh, actually uh, started off his life in, uh, in Madawa and uh, went to uh, Ecole Secondaire at Gonquet, so we're very proud of, uh, of that part of it as well. MP Rhoda doesn't expect all Canadians to switch the two words on a dime. People will adopt it with time. Not everybody will change it once. Some will adopt it a little bit of time to force it down somebody's throat or to try to make that change through advertising. That was a previous government. I think we'll hold back on the money and spend it better in other places. For an alternate take, I took to Nipissing University to speak with Dr. David Tabachnik, political science professor at the school. I can understand that people who feel strongly about it feel very strongly, and people who don't care don't really care at all. That's my take on it. Uh, historically, as I'm sure many of your viewers know, the national anthem has been changed a number of times. In fact, in one of its original forms, it was also gender, gender neutral. So this change uh, is a change back maybe to its uh, primary form way back in 1908. And what's your take on it? Do you like the change? I think that it's fair, actually. If we think about the fact that, for example, women now serve in the military, under the crown, for the queen, in loyalty to the crown, it makes sense to include them in this part of the national anthem, if, if that's what the reference is. I mean, maybe it would be a little too far to say, in all thy people kinds command, that might be a little too much, but this, I think, is a reasonable change. Do you think people will catch on and switch over right away, or will it take time? Oh, I can imagine at various hockey games and otherwise some people will be shouting all thy sons command very loudly just to be making a point. But of course, part of this change will be in schools. The younger children will now learn to sing these new lyrics and of course this kind of debate will fade away as our children grow older in our equal society.